They can't stop. They. Did you hear what I said? We got a banger today. So, all right. I'm going to be introducing the winner. I'm going to start introducing the winner at the end of the video. Like, towards the end. Somewhere towards the end. So, I can hop right into the banger. So, remember to subscribe. If you're watching this video right now and you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Turn on notifications. And let's hop right into the video. All right. So, watch this. Watch this. This is going to be the first thing. So, I want y'all to tell me if I'm crazy. So make sure y'all drop a like on this video so somebody from Epic could see it. Because I know whatever I'm thinking, y'all are thinking the same thing, right? Somebody out there thinking the same thing. So first, let's let's start off with um the XP, right? So say, for instance, we got all this XP. Say I have 0 schematic XP and 12 million survivor XP, right? What do you, what do you, what do you want there to be a chance like you could transform some of your schematic, some of your survivor XP? And turn it into schematic XP. So say like, say like you want, say like you want 100,000 schematic XP. All they have to do is like take 10%. Like, say like there's gonna be a 10% charge from your survivor XP. So once you turn that 10, well, that 100,000 survivor XP, you're gonna get eventually like 90,000 schematic XP. That's a smart idea. For me, that's a smart idea. That's a smart idea. Next, we got the perk up. We got the perk up. Same thing with the perk up. If you have if you have all this, if you have all this um uncommon perk up, rare perk up, and you need some epic perk up, shouldn't there be a chance you could like transform some of them? Like you could change uncommon perk up into rare perk up, or change rare perk up into epic, or change epic into legendary. That would be smart. That would be smart. That would definitely be smart. It will be easier because you still have to farm. You still have to farm. You still have to get one of them to get either of them. So you, it's not like you're just going to get it for free. You still have to get one to get the other. So you, you either have to farm for survivor XP to get the schematic or farm for the schematic to get the survivor. You get what I'm saying? That's a smart idea. Same thing with these two. You, it can work for weapon designs. Like a lot of these things. Weapon for the training manuals and stuff. It could work for this because a lot of people don't use weapon like traps and stuff A lot of people mostly use training manuals So they have a bunch of weapon designs all they could do is transform some of the weapon designs Turn into training manuals this transform system. They need to in implement a transform system Another topic right here. Let's hop into another topic Let's talk about like vending machines, yo. Imagine if there was vending machines and save the world, yo. So say say for instance, you got this weapon right here. You you don't have enough you don't have enough efficient mechanical parts. And what you could use to buy from the vending machine is materials, just like in Bad Royale. You have your materials, you have like say like it costs Say it costs like 500 materials because it has to be worth it. It has to be worth it because if, if it's cheap, then everybody's going to abuse it. So say, for instance, you have like 500, 500 wood for, for 500 wood for 50 efficient or 500 wood for 25 efficient, something, something like that. Something like that. Like at least at least let the game more fun. Like we just come here every single time. Walk around, farm, 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 do the mission. Walk. That's all we come. We, we just come here, do the mission, get out. Let it be more fun. Like, we go to the vending machine. We see what's in the vending machine. We decide if we want to buy it, yes or no, da, 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 da. It'll be way fun. It'll be way more fun. It'll be way more fun. So you have, like, you're going to have, like, uncommon vending machine. You're going to have, like, they should have, like, that. They should have five rarities of vending machine they should have the common the common which are gonna have like um the common is gonna have like let's see the common is gonna have some rusty the uncommon is gonna have like some simple the rear is gonna have some sturdy the epic is gonna have some sleek and the legendary is gonna have some efficient that's what they should do tell me that is not smart tell me that is not smart just like what I said, the rusty, 
the Rusty's gonna be in a in a, in a common vending machine. So you have a common vending machine right here. The Rusty gonna be in there. If you have an uncommon, it's gonna be simple. If you got a if you had a um an um a rear, it's gonna be sturdy. If you got an epic vending machine, it's gonna be some um sleek. If you got a legendary vending machine, it's gonna be some efficient. Y'all can't say y'all can't say that is not a smart idea. You can't say that's not a smart idea. And then if 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 another part decides to come and save the world where they put in a six star, they could put it to a mythic vending machine, like a gold vending machine. Instead of an orange vending machine, you could put a gold vending machine. So nothing has nothing has to change. You could still have all five rarities and then you just put in a, a mythic vending machine with the six star with the six star materials. If there if there happens to be a six star material. That's a smart idea. That's a smart idea. That's really a smart idea. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not complaining about the game. The game, to be honest, Save the World is fun. I play Save the World. I play Save the World because it's fun. There's a lot of things in Save the World that you could do. So I'm just putting in these ideas in the game to make it better. Just to make it better. Just these little ideas could change the game. Just these little ideas right here could let people be like, oh, there's vending machines and save the world now? Like, there's vending machines? People come in the mission. Before they start the mission, they'll walk around, try to find the vending machine, or there'll be like a, just like in all other games where you can see a, a bright light beam. Like a light beam will be in the air, which shows where each and every vending machine is. Tell me, tell me that wouldn't be smart. So you walk, you walk in the map, you look up, you see a bright light beam. You go over there, you see the vending machine, you be like, oh, th th this is in the vending machine today? Every mission you go in, there's supposed to be a different vending machine. Put at least two, three vending machines in the map. At least two, three vending machines. You go to each of them with a bright beam. See what's in there. You buy if you want to buy, and then you get straight to the mission. Th that's, that's smart right there. That's smart right there. So just like this right here, just like how you come right here and you see this, this vending machine right here, like you can see like some Coke or whatever Sprite, whatever is in there. All you got to do is see the thing scrolling crash, the sleek, the fibrous herbs, whatever it is, whatever, whatever star, whatever star crafting material it is, because I'm sure all materials, I'm sure all most of the materials has a star under it so it shows what level so it shows what level it is just like this it says one star two star three star whatever make it be in the vending machine slide and cross whatever whatever just like this you come here you search this all you do is get one fibrous herb what is that gonna do one fibrous herb for what then you just break the vending machine you get some nuts and bolts one nut one nut bro one nut one what that's nothing. You could have that could be a whole vending machine. You walk up to it, you buy your loot. Listen, listen, listen. The code word today is transform Dane. Transform Dane is the code word today. All right. Let's and the it. last one, the last one, the last thing I want to mention is wait. This is wait. Let's wait. Is he coming up here? No. Don't make it. 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 No. All right. The last one is like with sleek, efficient, just like with the with the crafting materials, right? So say like you 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 have a, say like you have two hundred sleek, right? And you want to turn it into some efficient. There should be a way for you to turn some sleek into some efficient. Like say like you, you turn two hundred sleek. You should get like a hundred efficient. Like you get what I'm saying? You have two hundred simple. You turn two hundred simple into one hundred thirty. You turn two hundred thirty into one hundred sleek. You turn two hundred sleek into one hundred. So one tier down, whenever you're trying to go up a tier, whenever you're going up a tier, you get a hundred. If you're going down a tier, you should get two hundred. That's what I'm thinking. No, 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 no. Not even 200. I, I don't think you should be able to go down. No, no, no. 
like, cross that out. I don't think he should be able to go down. I think he should just be able to keep going up. Or it would cost more to go down than to go up. Yeah. It would cost more to go down than to go up. So basically, I get, I get 100 for going up. But for going down, I would get like 75. You get what I'm saying? To go down, it costs 75. But to go up, it costs 100. So you have 200 sleek and you want to turn it into efficient. If you have 200 sleek right here and you want to turn it into efficient, you get 100. But if you want to turn the sleek into 30, you get 75. Yeah, that sounds better. That sounds way better. Because you're not... I don't think you should be able to want to go down. You shouldn't want to go down with your materials. You should always want the higher materials. You should always want to do the higher materials. So, I don't think I don't think he should be able to go down. Yeah. So yeah, those are the four points. Make sure you like the video so somebody from Epic can see it. If y'all want this to come through, make sure y'all like the video, subscribe, so somebody from Epic can see this. All right. So the winner of today's shout out is the Coda Ayesteron. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right. The Coda Ayesteron. You're the winner of today's shout out. So. If anybody else wants a chance for a shout out, all you gotta do is comment down below the code word, subscribe, like the video, like the vi subscribe, like the video, turn on post, post notification, comment down below the code word, because we are on the grind to 5,000 subs, and we can't get to 5,000 subs without your help. So share the channel, subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, tell everybody in your house to subscribe to Day 2 Unruly. And yeah. Let's hit this 5k subs. Let's get it, man. Let's go. And it's your boy, Dean. And I'm out. Peace.